have a motion to open the meeting. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Roll call. Sarah Borg. Sarah Borg. Michael Sabatini. Frank Todd. Arthur Breaker. Bill Bukowski. Missing uh, John Cadello and uh, Matt Emma. Okay. Our agenda. I don't approve the minutes. Has everybody had a chance to read the minutes? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'll take a motion to approve the meeting. The minutes. We'll make a motion to approve the minutes. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> okay. Motion passes. All right, first item on the docket is uh, uh, ding, ding, ding. Uh, your agenda. 61 Summer Street. That's us. That's us. us. You're both 61 years old. Uh, <laughs> <Getting there. laughs> okay, 61 Summer Street. And you're representing Frank Romano? Yes. Okay. And what does he want to do? He wants to replace his windows. Okay. The whole house or the barn or what? Uh, the, pretty much the whole house. So all the, wind, the double hung windows and the okay. uh, patio doors in the back. So, so we have. Go through this. Kind of duplication? Yeah. Yeah, that's an old house, you know. 1848? Here we go. Turn the ladies out. This is the photos that Jamie has provided. Here we go. That's a front street. You want to just lay them out so we have them all. Here's a detail. Okay. Do you, guys want to, do you guys want to come up here? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. yeah so the, the windows that he is replacing are 30 years old. And then just find them in the graph there. He's got some rod issues that are going on. Um, the patio doors, the cladding is coming on. So he's replacing, what was it, 28, 28 windows, two, yeah. two French wood doors. These two doors here. Yeah, yeah door like this. Replacing with the same door. Same door. Same door. Okay. Uh, and the, that's a French? Uh, yeah, French Wood Anderson 400. Yeah. Windows. 28 windows. 28 windows. Window sizing to remain the same, no changes in the openings? Window the measuring tech was out there. Everything was measured to a sixteenth of an inch. So they're going to be going in as inserts. So we won't be touching any of the interior exterior trim. Okay. Uh, but we'll be pulling off storms, putting the window in. Now yeah. these here have no margins in them. But, uh, some of them, because some, some these windows some are some only 30 feet. years old and they were interior, they were interior grills that have broken off. Oh, okay. Yeah. We can do better than that now, right? Yeah, right. Okay. Oh, okay, so what I'm seeing in this photo here, um, these are interior mountain grills? The ones on the front of the house? Yep. These are, these were full divided light or simulated divided light. Some of the other windows were had just interior, interior grills. Okay. And they just fell off over the years. So what, do you have any documentation about what the original windows look like? What the original, from when the house was built? Yeah. Well, they would have been wood windows with the pocket weights on the side. Right, but what, uh, 6 out of 6 or? I have no idea on that. No idea. Wouldn't you want to look at that? Try to keep it within the historic aspect of the house? Well, I think we were just following what was there now. Is yeah. it going to be a 6 out of 6? It's going to be 6 out of 6. We're matching, yeah, what it's, we're matching what's, what's there now. now. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I don't know that's the original. Mm -hmm. I mean, does anybody? I mean, is that I, what was commented in that time? I mean, no, but there are archives. You can go in the library. Yeah, so it was, there's got to be archives from the building, I would imagine. 
uh, don't know if it's been inventoried, to be honest with this you. One? Okay. I don't know. Is six over six common? Probably the most common. Well, probably the most common. The most yeah. common. Yeah. 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 Or these then B6 of six? Yeah, yeah. 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 all the windows match. Yeah. yeah, that is so. I stuck that one right in front of me so I couldn't miss it. Wait. <laughs> 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 no, this one without the without, yeah. Yeah. windows, yeah. <laughs> So right, right now, those are single pane windows with the storm cover. With the storms, yeah. So we'll be able to get rid of the storm, and it's actually going to clean up the yeah. clean up the look of the house. Mm -hmm. I have. Uh, we'll go out of some mock up. It's a historical house yep. that we did. I don't have a check. Oh, I can so, get you a check. It's in my car. Okay. I don't think Kirk was. So this is a historical that we did. That These are the in original, well, they're not they weren't original. Tell These windows were about you know 40 years old. That too when I and it. these are our windows. I've been different down the towns in different cities. So. Okay. And Frank is going, some, is, oh. is going with the same color, some the canvas some. color. So it's going to be matching the trim that he has on the outside of the house now. Gotcha. Almost like a double. Huh? Almost like a double. Could be. This Another historical black windows. Is he doing black? Nope. No, no, he's still in this color. color. Yeah. He's still in this yeah. color, yeah. Right. Cool. Well, so we'll run our windows so you can see what they're doing. Do you have a um, uh, chip of the canvas? Not like, I just. That's like. Oh, wait, the, okay. the inside of this window is. That's the, the canvas. canvas there, yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's like that's a, what, that's a nice inside. clean color. Mm -hmm. Can we put that up on the table? Or? Um. Or chair, maybe. Why are you put up the table? You know what? You're going to fall and trip on this. Whoop. That would be bad. Which way do you want? The outside or the inside? You want to look at the canvas? Yeah, outside. Yeah. So, so that, the, that's the, the canvas color. So he's doing his windows he's canvas right in, there. canvas out. So this would be the color of yep. the inside and the outside of the window. Okay. okay. But you can see that the window's designed to look like a wood window. You're getting the mortise and tenon joints on the corner, traditional square check rails. Okay, but the window is very energy efficient. Constant force jam liners, ice and water dams. So you won't be getting those drafts. But this is the exterior. This is black. This is the only sample that we had. This black would be a canvas color. And this is what the full divided lights look like. I like the size of the mountains. Yeah, you know, for this, for this Yeah, house. they're bulky, they're, they're nice. Well, they're, no, they're, they're not as bulky, actually. Oh, they're, they're not, not as bulky oh, I as think I've they're seen. Nice. You know, they're so nice. I, I like that. Um, they're glued on both sides, huh? Oh. Yes. Well, that's what yeah. I said. Yep. They're, they're not in between the glass, and yeah. I, I like them. Like yeah. This. And what's the material of the one? Fibrex. It's a composite. It's 40% wood fibers, 60% oh. thermal polymers. The two materials get extruded together. Each piece of wood gets encapsulated because the wood gets encapsulated, it never gets wet. So if it never gets wet, it's never going to rot. This will be the last one that'll go into the house. It won't have to worry about. You it on TV saying that, just yeah. so you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, the other thing I like about it too is the um, just the sheen of the finish. You know, it's, yeah. it's not shiny. Yeah. Yeah. Like um, you know, you normally would see it. On a plastic window. window. Yeah. So yeah. it's called Fibrex. Fibrex. By Anderson. By Anderson. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's been on the market since 1991. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we've been testing it. Uh, we, we have a house in, um, it's on the ocean up in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. It's there for the sea salt nor'easters that we have here in New England. There's no issues. Have a house in Arizona for the heat and the sun. No issues with that. There's a house in Minnesota just for, uh, the, just because of the weather changes that they have. No issues. They actually take full windows, they put them in the Everglades down in Florida. They pull them out every year, put them in the back of a pickup truck, run them through a car wash and test them. No sign of decay. It's nice. It looks great. You put them in the, in the water? They put them in the water, yeah. There's guys in Minnesota on their dad when this came out, they still have Fibrex sitting in fish tanks that have been in there for 20 years and they pull it out. It just does not absorb water. Mm. Yeah, I know how that works. It just basically fills all of the uh, air pockets in the wood. There you go. Yeah, because wood, if you look at it in a microscope, it looks like a tube. Right. Yeah. 
Questions? Is that clear glass? Is this clear glass? Yes. Is it going to be clear glass? Uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to have a low E coating on it, so that, which is silver. So it's filled up with 100% argon gas, so it's energy efficient. Our glass packs are called Smart Sun because we put silver as a low E coating. Um, we call our glass pack Smart Sun because we're able to block the angle of the sun in the summer from coming into the house or allow the, in the summertime so we keep the house cooler but we allow the angle of the sun in the winter to come in. So if you benefit from any thermal heat in the winter, we're not blocking it up. Can, is these photos here uh, also smart pack? Yeah. Yep. I see that. So how does it compare? If you put so that, that type of window next to the, a, you know, a clear glass window. This is Rockport? I, I believe don't it is. Think, I, I, I'm not sure. He told me it was Rockwell when he gave it wow, to me. Wow, it looks like yeah. Salem. You said Beverly. Edmonds. That's what I thought. Yeah, um, yeah okay. I'm going to look. At, so does this have a full screen on That's it? That's the full screen. Yeah, okay. Frank's doing, Frank is going to go with half screen. Good, because yeah. I would say that that would be the stipulation, yep. half screen, because you don't get that darkness. And so uh, show me what window, both up and these, these are the, the ones bottom? we replaced, okay, and so they didn't get to replacing these yet. So. All right, so this almost, well, we know they've got a screen on, but that silver coating kind of freaked me out. I didn't want them to be really dark, or that blue coating, you know, you see that blue? I know what It's mean. not going to have that. No. No, I, I'll, I, I'll pull this window up over there so you can see it side by side. But today, to get an Energy Star rating, companies have to put low eagle coating on their glass. So every window that you do buy today that's energy efficient is going to have a low, low E coating on it. But the thing is, is we use silver as our low E. What happens with other companies, they don't use silver, they use tin, T-I-N. It's not that effective. The problem with it, it rusts over time. So the windows will start getting spotty and they always just look dirty. I have a picture of that if you want to see that. So it's basically their low E coating rusting on the glass. You won't have it with this window. It's a really nice product. Do you have a, um, a catalog you can oh, yeah. leave us with for our uh, information library? Yep, so I brought in two and catalogs. And do you have a business card also we can... Yep, so yep. brought in two catalogs. The other thing, because of the age of the house, we're going to handle anything with, like the EPA wants it done for lead safe. Okay, okay. yeah, okay. All right, this is good for our library. And we know Jamie has been here in Rally. Okay, super. Thank, Thank you. you, Fred. So when it's a half screen, where does it Yeah, half screen. Does it move up and down or the half well, screen? No. Yeah, what happened? Where's the half the screen is in? set for the, the half screen will be set right here. For the bottom. For the, for the bottom. bottom. Yeah. So yep. and it will have this um I don't know, do you have other choices for the color in the screen? It's gonna be canvas. No, no, the, the material, the actual color, gray. is it a gray, will it be this black? It's going to be this color, okay. yeah, I'll screen, yeah. You have yeah. one color, one shade yeah. for screening. I like it. So a half, it's light, and it goes right in, and they won't need to remove it or anything, right? It just stays in that's, that's homeowner's choice. A lot of, you know, every house I go in is different. Some people like to take it out in the wintertime. Me and my house, I leave them on all year long. So. Is it an interior screen? Is that how? No, it's no, it's exterior. It's exterior. Okay. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Thank you. And where does it fit within the window frame? The screen's going to sit right in here. Yeah. Okay. Right here and right across here. Okay. Yeah. Usually that's some spring loaded pins on the side. No, it's it's got uh, two stainless steel clips. Oh, you got, you got so you clip those in. Yeah, right. nice. I have those at home in my kitchen. Yeah. Right. Very nice. Mm. I like it. Yeah, I think it's great. How does the the new window sash dimensions in terms of the cross section of the jams to head and the base compared to the mm. existing window? So you you said earlier that was one of my questions, making sure that the opening was going to, everything was going to match up, right? Everything's and, going to match and up. And even the side profile of the existing window was going to match this profile here. Yep. No changes in dimensions. No changes in dimensions, no. They're just slipping them okay. right in. That's good. Yeah. yeah. And, that, and each, each opening is measured separately, so every window gets custom made for each opening. 
So we just don't pull windows off a shelf and then put them in and try to make them fit. So every the, the house is numbered now because I put stickers on it. Uh, the measuring tech goes by those, Minnesota goes by those numbers, and the installers will go by those numbers. So every window has its own specific spot that it's going to go in. Wow, that's great. I've always admired the house. It's a nice looking house. Yeah, it is. Very nice. Beautiful. And, uh, Big. Mm -hmm. So um, it's nice that you're doing a good job. <coughs> yeah. It'll look nice. It'll look very nice when it's in. And you get rid of the storms, it's actually the house is going to pop even more. Um, so for for technical stuff, I just need a check, and okay. I'll go um, for everyone. okay, and then I I don't have any other questions. And I think this is a really beautiful window, a lovely product, and I'm sure that they'll be very pleased with it, especially getting rid of the storm windows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the window, I like it. And the two the two doors yeah, the being included to it, replacing what's there yeah. as far as the uh, okay. 400 yeah, series. All the questions that I'm yeah, write that down. French work they Yeah, they're the same same exact door, same exact dimensions. Yeah, I think it's the last. Uh, so the last question. Yeah. Yeah, I think we should ask the better one. Window. No. Oh, we, we have we have uh, the master bedroom. Great room is one. Okay. So those are basically in the great room. We're doing two side lights. It's so it's like half a door that he was having issues with, and then in the master bedroom. We're replacing them all. City room, David Old Master. Yeah. Master, Master, and Master. Okay, so how, how many total doors then? I it's see. it's two full doors and four side lights. Oh, okay. These are gonna be uh, vertical. These these are horizontal. The panes. The grills? They're gonna. The grills are gonna look like what they, we're gonna. They're gonna look just the way Frank has them now, because that's gonna be the size of the window. Yeah. So they're gonna look exactly like this. Same same dimensions. Seven by nine. Yeah. Yeah. This is just a sample. So. Okay. No more questions. No. All set. You guys, need windows for your house? I'm here. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Yeah. Okay, uh, no more questions. Who's the sales guy? I'll take a motion to accept. I make a motion to uh, approve the window as uh, submitted. Also in the sample that was given to us today. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Hold on, I gotta get a pun on these. Okay. Motion carries. Okay, thank you. Oh, don't let the Romano see you guys struggling putting these screens uh, in. <laughs> I got new glasses. I'm still trying to get used to them. No, it's, it's like this looks like I'm in a fishbowl right now. <laughs> Look at that. It comes with a handle. Guys. Oh, we'll keep that. Okay. We'll keep that for okay. the Thanks for the How many screens I put in all the videos? Huh? How many screens I put in all the videos? Oh, you know. <laughs> I've stopped carrying on that other ones because I keep tearing. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. 55. We all set? Yeah. yeah. Set. Pleasure meeting you. Okay, really. so here's... Have a good day, sir. Thank you very much. Good meeting you. Yeah, thank you so much. Right, yeah. I'm going to try to write this up. I already... <clears throat> I'm going to try writing this certificate up and see if I can send it you this evening because I I have a really really bad schedule next week so okay. um Kim Ward doesn't come in until Monday Monday are, are you prepared to do this um, like ready to go Monday okay Perfect. so I'm going to yeah. do this for you tonight all right great okay would you send him I'm a gonna I'm gonna send you at the email I have for you mm -hmm. and I'll send him uh the okay thing so all right, great. both of you okay yeah perfect okay, let me talk <laughs> yeah. okay. And I'll grab a check for $25? No, 15 please. Oh, 25 is good. I'll take the 25 Oh, I thought you said 25 Oh, all 15. right. 15 Okay. All right, 15 great. made out to 
out to the town of Rowley. Okay. okay. I'll run back in. Thank you. Okay. I thought Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. Nice. Yeah. Hello, Gaspar. Hey. Hey. I just read, I saw Anne. Anne, she was supposed to be coming. I know, I saw her. She told me what was up. I can't help you. You can't help me. You can't help you. Who can help us? So I told Anne to contact Debbie Egan. I think that's the best place to start. Um, because we don't have any, in our guideline, or in our bylaw, we, have, any authority. Yeah. we have nothing. We do design review, as you remember. Mm -hmm. Vinyl versus wood. Is it, you know, the right scale window? You know, that's really the, our purview. Mm -hmm. um, licenses and issues with someone possibly running a business or something in the historic district, I can't, we, we can't, we can't even, oh. it's just not part of what we do. But I think Debbie Egan is definitely, or Amy Lydon, I would call them tomorrow and get the conversation and let them help you tell you where you need to go, the steps, because I think you might end up with the planning department and Kirk Baker, the town planner. I don't see what that would have to do with um, this. It's possibly that they, um, if they're running a business, um, they are, which they are. Okay, so either the selectmen or the planning board issues uh, permits for businesses mm -hmm. so that's the only suggestion I have that's for too you. bad because uh, it's really bad what he's done and what are they doing with the town I, I, I'm sorry there's an issue with uh, okay. on a butter to the Grange in the back is possibly running a boat business Mm -hmm. Yeah, is well, that what Ann told me? No, he's, he's on talk. Cut it on talk. Not on our agenda. No, no, no. no I, I took them on. But I, I talked to them. Uh, this oh, okay. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> How do I do this? <laughs> Sorry, Debbie Egan. I'm on TV. I don't know what else to do. Okay. So, um, as an open um, business item, possibly we could hear you speak. <laughs> Down there. Okay. We're Alan and Barbara Gasper, members of Rowley Grange, and we were upgrading our Grange Hall to meet the code of the town. We had no septic system. So we contracted someone to do the engineering for this. And our driveway is such that it starts where the lawn is, and it goes over here. Turn on the back of it. it it's, it's, uh, it's got a... You want to turn on the back of that? Like? No, that's all right. I don't, I'm, I, yeah, just, I've got a picture And, and uh, so... When they bought it, they knew this. They didn't own, you know, there it is right here. This is the road coming in. And that house is here. Well, they had enough room for a driveway here. But the person they bought it from should have taken care of this so that we got this amount of land back here. Well, we tried to talk to them, but talk to our lawyer. So we sent, Barbara sent the lawyer all this plan and everything. Is that it, Barbara? And they had difficulty with the lawyer. And the next thing we knew, we yes. couldn't talk yes. to the lawyer, we couldn't talk to them. And things went on. And so we went ahead and had this septic system designed. Stu Delzell and you and I went over there to look at this. And as we were there looking at this and showing them where our line was, the gentleman came out and says, you're a bastard. <laughs> right? So we just, Stu Delzell, you and I just walked away. 
So now we had no further conversations with yes. them. We couldn't do anything with them. So we went ahead and had this developed and approved, and we were here, and you gave us a go-ahead to do it in this department. So we built it. The historic commission? For and, what? Huh? You put a septic system in? Septic yeah, the system. system is in. And the thing of it is, is they were sitting right there, and when we walked out the door, he says, is there something we can do? It's too late, because we had spent all the money to develop this, and it was in the plan, and it's too late for us to say, give him this much land here, and we take some land over here. So it was all over. So now, he's got, tra uh, he's got uh, boats on our land. He's got boats right on our land, right here. Take a look, they're right there, sitting on our land. Well, that's easy enough. And the, the man owns the land in the back? Okay. I mean, I, I, like I said, I think the selectman's office is the, the bro best The brook runs along here. Yeah, it's here. And, and, and it yeah. goes down like that. Mm -hmm. oh, it's, it comes down here. It's down here. Well, it comes along. Thanks, Jamie. Appreciate it. Are going down there? Yeah. Have a good night. You too. Not much later than 30 feet by the building. Yeah. Well, what I remember was. When Les Merrill owned this piece over here, the, the septic tank was right where the where the the brook turned 90 degrees. It, it was right right there, and that is my recollection. And uh, what you what you were trying to say is what you've done is uh, if he'd have done a land swap with you, then. Uh, he, he uh, his driveway would have been it would have been a straight dry ride right through and we would have gained a little land here for for our septic system but yeah well the driveway right now does that yeah uh -huh. and, and that's what the problem is but that's that's over and done with but the thing of it is is he's on our land. And he doesn't have a business. Uh, they, re he's in the residential district, the, the antique part of the town. So he is not authorized to have any business there. So, but he has a boat business that has been going for about seven years, which didn't matter because they were little boats. Now they're big boats. Oh, this is a picture of it here. Yeah. Right. So we just want to know why this is the historical district and they are not following by the rules of... We don't have any rules. We don't issue permits for... Okay. Per, uh, for yeah. a so that's our story. So, Debbie uh, Egan okay. is going to be your best... But well, the thing best, is, best is, source, because then I think... They, the selectman's office, can help you with the steps necessary of what comes. Well, I called Ken. Ken Ward, the building department. Yes. Oh, good. That's another good well, place to Well, the thing of it is, is the, the police came down because he was back there, and they notified his chief and him, and he suggested we come to you. And... Um, so this is in the works. Okay. This is in the works. I'm not going to lose sleep tonight. Mm -hmm. But uh, but it's. I mean, and I'm not a bastard. No. By the way. <laughs> I, I I don't see how anybody can say that to you. We've had uh, a lot of people there. Now Bill Smith was there the last one, and the one before that was Les Merrill. Yeah, Shawty Merrill. And there was never a problem. That's right. Everybody got along. That's right. But this person, he's okay. Uh, don't say, anymore. don't say anymore. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. Thank you anyway. But we'll work on it and see what, 
see what we can do. I'll have to call Ken. I uh, was in to talk to him yesterday and I had a whole bunch of stuff here. That, uh, many, I have written, written many letters to him. And the one thing that when uh, we were going through this, he had, so he said, an attorney in Newbury would, would uh, I send her the paper, the original paper, and I did. And uh, she said she, t she had told him that it was authorized to do a business. So I never did receive a paper back. We were supposed to have another meeting because something was drawn wrong. And uh, the day that we were to have the meeting, we were having a supper over there which was, uh, so we were at the hall from 10 o'clock in the morning until 9 at night, until the supper was over. And that woman was supposed to come around noontime. She never showed. I called her number, and there was no number. And I can't even find the number in the telephone book now. But whether she was a lawyer or not, I don't know. But she never showed up, and she never called. <laughs> so. Who do you believe? Okay, we'll get through it, I'm sure. Good night. Good night. It was, it was good, good to see you both. Yeah. How do you know where I'm from? Are you a teacher? I know you because you've been frequent flyers here for a while, many years now, working on the Grange project. Oh, yeah. 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 So. What do you call it? We're uh, do ups or do downs or do something. I don't know. Yes. Yeah. So, Good to see you both. I'm sorry we couldn't be more. That's okay. Well, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Enforcement. We're not losing sleep over this. No, it's but just that uh, uh, he's on our land. Okay. Well, yeah, he's got that big boat. It's about a 30 footer, I guess. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. I think well, you're, you're doing the right thing. Thank you. All right. Good night. Did, did you see? Good night, Alan. We'll see you. Okay. Bye. Thanks. Bye now. Bye. Bye. Okay. Well, we uh, no, I told him to. She called me here at 5 o'clock or something. I said, come on in. Okay. We, can, we can talk about it. Because it's 100 guys down know, the road here. You, you know, we don't, there's no reason to talk about it because there's nothing we can do about it. Um, okay, so what's on next on the agenda? The next, uh, the next thing on the agenda is... 55 Main Street. Okay, so 55 Main Street was, I got an email from Kirk Baker who said that he got a phone call from a guy named Nick who had someone to put a pool in, whatever, left a number, um, and I called the number and I encouraged Mr. Nick to come here and talk to us about a possible new pool above ground. Um, and he's not here. He's not he, showing up, he, so. He, he didn't show up, so um, we can table him till next month. He's enough. Um, no big deal. There's already a fence on the property, um, so just really wanted to make sure that if he was coming in that we would say, look, make sure you're keeping the fence, because if you're going to have a pool, you have to have fence. Mm -hmm. So not to change it dramatically, just kind of informational for him. Okay, so... That is, they didn't come. So the next thing was we've gotten a lot of mail in our mailbox. Um, one came to us was a special permit application for 101. All the boards received this. If there was anything, there's two copies in here. If you'd like to review it, look at the, look over it. Um, and if there's any comments that you, the board, would like to make, we can do that. I quickly went through it, and I don't see anything uh, as part of the special application permit that the Raleigh Historic District Commission needs to make any significant comments to, other mm -hmm. than supporting the project. Oh, this is the end. This is the end. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Sorry I didn't right. say. So, so without us having, having us read all this, what it's all about? Um, so you can go through it. There's basically it's um, site plan. I don't um, want to do it. Yeah. Well, what are they asking sure, to, to do with cemetery? Cool. I mean, it's, I, on the, it's on the front sheet. Um, okay. 
everybody got these. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is just the formal mm -hmm. um, application to develop the property as we know it. Right. As we as they described earlier, mm -hmm. the thirty room hotel. Yeah. Um, restaurant. The restaurant. The restaurant. The restaurant. And, and the art that, gallery yeah. and so forth. Okay. Mm -hmm. There were no changes to what we initially when we saw them. Mm -hmm. We basically got the concept. Yep. Um, but our demo permit is part of this package, I see. and all of these people were gotten this package, and I don't believe anybody's had any issues with this. Seven days away. Oh, that's good to know. But because it came to us, they've asked us to make comments, mm -hmm. if any. I didn't see anything. Seven, eight, five. That's a long breakfast. So the inn and the restaurant are going to be called the same, the same thing, right? Briar, Briar Bonya? Mm, yeah. right. Yep. Because one of their daughters here is this Briar. It's the Briar Barn Inn. I wonder where they are in their process. I think, yeah, plenty, yeah, that's another thing to tell you about. Have they actually, actually purchased the property? Because the, when they first saw us, there was a PNS. They were. I think it must be because now it says closed for renovation. Yeah, that's right. It's been closed. Yeah, okay. yeah, mm -hmm. it must have happened. This is recently acquired the property. I think at some point, uh, if I remember correctly, when they were here earlier, I had asked a question about fencing, and I think that would be in our purview, right? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Going forward, so. Between there and the cemetery. Yeah, so I think they said that once they got their, all their approvals, approvals and were ready to go, they would come back to us to discuss that. So that would be my only comment, to make sure they come back. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, yeah, they need to do a design review, and yeah. that might be one of the yeah. um, issues on the if we're making a, um, well, we haven't even seen any of the proposals, but you're right, Bill, fencing. Well, plus, we also would be doing design street. review for structures that That's right. we can see from the street. Mm -hmm. That right? is correct. So, just making the note, I can send an email t to um, Amy Leiden and Debbie Egan mm -hmm. saying that um, we don't really have an issue with this proposal. Yeah. Well, screen, 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 screen is like a cemetery also. However, yeah. we're waiting to see <laughs> them oh, okay. to revisit yeah. our design review issues that meet the historic sure. design even lighting, guidelines. Even the exterior lighting. lighting yeah. um, you know, there's yeah. a lot to, to look at on this project. Absolutely agree. And the neighbors were here facing on the right, and they were talking about fencing too. Sure. You know, I was looking through. The rules here. Um, people, people were just in, and, and uh, it said if you had a parking lot, you had to screen it. That's something that might help. Might help then? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Somewhere in the rules. Here. Um, so mm -hmm. that is that piece of mail for review. Um, and to 
continue with um, 101 Main Street, the Briar Barn Inn, next Thursday evening on May 11th at 825, there will be a public hearing on the site plan review for this um, project. So if anybody wants to go. That's planning board. I plan on going to planning board. I'm not, I'd, I'd like to go um, and see what is proposed. And when is that? The so 11th? that's going to be May 11th. Yeah, the, the agenda was posted today. Yeah. So it says 825. I'm going to buy her so I got it. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. Are you going to go as in a butter? With, do you, are you just interested? I'm, I'm interested in going, but I don't know whether or not I can. We'll see. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go just to listen mm -hmm. and to see. And then if there's any, I don't think I need to say anything, but. Because you'll see the design plan at that time. Yeah, I'll be good. Yeah. Just to you know, remind the board that we're here too. Mm -hmm. We want to work with you. Mm -hmm. Don't forget about right. us. Right. Yeah. That's May 11th, right? Yeah, May 11th. 825 is the appointment date on the agenda. Is that the town hall? Is that where that is? Uh, here. Oh, it's room. right here in yeah. this room? Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Are they approved to to perform demo based mm -hmm. upon the our approval of that application? Yeah. So they can begin that any time? Uh, I don't believe so. I remember what the lawyer said that they wouldn't start anything until they had all their approvals That's in right. place, okay. right? right? So, right. Um, and we were pleased with that because we yeah. didn't want to see all that stuff being taken away until this everything was in order. Makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let me just finish this. Okay. So, may I um, may I give you the next piece of information mm -hmm. while I, I want to finish this up for you? <coughs> Next thing that came through was sent to the chairman um, just last week, a week ago. Um, Mass Historic, Mass Historical Commission, and the MBTA sent this. This is the MBTA positive train control for the Gloucester branch. So they are going to be, the MBTA is undertaking a positive train control project on the commuter rail system. Um, it's a safety communications um, technology and the entire line is getting an upgrade to their communication system. They should have said the Newburyport branch, not the Gloucester branch. Well, this says East Route Needham branch, Gloucester branch. I know, but I'm just reading what yeah, it says. I know. I know. So um, this, the reason why we got this, the MBTA is <coughs> undertaking the environmental permitting of the project on a line-by-line -line basis to facilitate efficient review. As part of the environmental review, the MBTA will submit project information with the necessary supporting documents for each rail line to the Massachusetts Historical Commission and the Native American tribes through the Federal Communications Commission. Um, and it goes on and on. Um, hard copy of the materials has also been provided to the MHC and including local historical commissions in cities and towns in which the PTC, that's the communication tower, and infrastructure is proposed. So for Rowley, this um, new antenna control um, antenna, that's what it is, will happen on Railroad Avenue. Um, there's an existing train shed now. This is a really dense document, but this is an aerial photograph um, of where the new control will be placed. It's the old railroad station. Yep, and if you've been there, I know Bill and I know the site very well. Um, there is a um, chain, link, chain, area, link, chain link fence with a um, maintenance shed. It's a white shed. Mm -hmm. And the proposed location is where a current radio tower of some sort is in that shed area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So how, how tall will it be? Um, it, the dimensions are right here. It says that the ground elevation is at 19, which is true, um, and it's a height of 30 feet. Above the 19? At 19, because that's the grade. Mm -hmm. So it's really only 11 foot tower. No, I think it's going to be a total height of 30. Uh, that'd be a 30 above the 19. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's interesting is that, um, well, first of all, you're right, there is an antenna on the property now. I went by it tonight on the way out, and then, plus I walked it today. And so it's a telephone pole, mm -hmm. and then there's an, atten an antenna that's attached to the top of the telephone pole. So is that where the new tower is going to go, right behind the shed? Well, it's here on this graphic, if you'd like to look at it. There's really no detail. Yeah, I it, saw that in the... I think you know, with, um, uh, a neighbor of ours had said at one time the reason why um, Mass Historic is involved in this is because there were Indian tribes at one time that lived um, near this area. In fact, I guess um, when they were building the Boston and Maine Railroad, there were some Indian artifacts that were found along the entire stretch. Mm, I can imagine, yeah. It just makes sense geographically where the, um, how the land is and how it kind of comes up and then you get to the marshland, right? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. I don't know of anything, Rally Historic, it's not within our district, um, but within the um, commission, Historical Commission. I don't. I'm not aware of anything special or found or anything. It's not mapped or inventoried. I don't know. But every community, every Beverly, Salem, Wenham, Ipswich, every historical commission, they all got the same thing. You can mm -hmm. see all the people on there. If we had a particular issue where they th we thought that they would disturb something, mm -hmm. we could say. Just but my understanding is, stuff, is they're putting the pole yeah. in the same place where the other pole is. Correct. Not outside the chain link fence, not outside the shed that's already there. It's they either replace the existing pole or make right. the existing pole higher. Right. Okay. But I think by law they need to right. Because previous things have been found along the entire stretch, Group. yeah. But so the, they're uh, just saying. So they're trying to cut. They're covering their base. Covering their base. And then, and, but as it relates to us, I don't. I think it's fine because it's not going outside no. the existing chain link fence. No. But when we get mail, we ha I have to tell review you about it. it. Okay. Yeah, we have to review it. I just want to make that since we're on TV. I want to make that point clear that the telephone poles and that they're going to change in the exact same location. Yeah. Inside a um, safe and protected enclosed area. Protected enclosure. Yeah. Okay. Nothing. Nothing is going to be changed. Disturbed. Okay. Changed. Not, not that I see. I was happy to see this uh, in terms of the height because um, one of my neighbors pointed out to me this weekend uh, in the local paper. Uh, you know, the one that's the. The Raleigh Town Common, yeah. The Raleigh Town Common, at the height was going to be 75 feet. Um, mm -hmm. So I was pleased to see there was only 30 feet. Mm -hmm. Just for our, our own neighborly sure. concerns. Mm -hmm. And you know, when you look at, um, because I, I went through this document, they pretty much every stop, whether it's Saugus or Lynn, Salem, they they are all about 30 feet. There yeah. isn't one that's right. bigger. So it's the same module. I think it was just a report. The public announcement in that paper was just not correct. Yeah, I don't think it was because correct. They were even describing it as a cell tower. Oh, boy. And not, not a, a communication tower um, for the railroad. So I, I don't know what happened to that, but it, I'm sure a lot of people were concerned when they saw that. Yeah, so it's... Um, but because the FCC got involved, maybe that's why. I don't know why it was published in the newspaper. But all right, so it's just for the train control safety, no big deal. You're just covering all the bases. Yeah, absolutely. And it's quite interesting. The the Indian tribes that they 
that they sent this also mm. to is quite fascinating. I they, it's very interesting. Uh, very, very interesting They document. have found all the burials. Yes, and yeah, that was... A lot of it all. Yeah. yeah, and I think, that, you know, along this route, the entire stretch... In the, in the, in the area. Yeah. I'm reading the story, the, uh, oh. doc, the docudrama of the, uh, the massacre of the uh, Hannah Dustin. It talks oh, about yeah. Crowley. Oh. It talks about Crowley uh, during the 1600s and all the Indians, and, and it talks specifically about the Great Marsh and the locations. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's a very interesting book. Very interesting. Have you found things in, in your property digging, any of you? Or? So, I haven't, uh, no, and I could it. have because I've done quite a bit of you know, digging, digging for gardens. Yes. And, and, uh, mm -hmm. and do it on Yeah. So. Um, th those were the items on the agenda. 61 um, Summer Street for the new windows. 55 Main Street didn't come, but he didn't respond to my telephone message. Um, so that was not a confirmed appointment. The mail for the special permit application for 101 Main Street for comments to be returned to the bo uh, BOS bo Board of Selectmen by today, if there were any. Um, MBTA package about the upgrades to the train communication system on the Newburyport rail line proposed communication tower for Railroad Avenue. That is the agenda. There are no other items. And we got the drop-in surprise from the gas parts. That was exciting. Mm -hmm. And well, um, so that's it. I say, no, they, other, they called no, up other, no other this items. This afternoon sometime. And okay. Can we raise one of them? Uh, you, you, do you have an item? Is it? Well, I'm just I just wanted to oh, ask about um, Mr. Colbert. I have nothing. Nothing. Um, nothing. Nothing. I have heard nothing. I, I know nothing. Okay. Um, I guess I, we're I still just waiting. Read, read the uh, town council's letter, and I was just curious. Yeah. No. I guess we're waiting. He has until the 16th. <clears throat> he was by the farm Sunday, the flea market. And uh, he spoke to me, just said hello, that was it, with a smile on his face. That's all I can tell you. Okay. <laughs> there was a, a records request, a public records request that he, he submitted, so um, as part of that, I gathered together any emails. Um, email communication, I've, I've already submitted it, so email communications to Matthew Kolbachek in the beginning, that's how it started, then to Ken Ward, um, um, and also um, all of the agendas, any of the notes, anything that was, you know, public, um, any kind of communications between Debbie Egan, um, that was all copied and sent to him. So, and he's got, I think he's, he's just, Weighing his options. He well, only has two. Of the letter he's got until a certain date. He, he has until May, Tuesday, May 16th. So either take out the fence or bring in an application for certificate of appropriateness. Well, all I can say is we're here to help. Absolutely. That's right. And I think that message was given to him loud and clear. Yeah. Okay, while we're here, um, before we go, uh, we have some issues about June. Because somebody is jet setting it to Europe. Amsterdam? Oh, Amsterdam. No. Not me. I'm not oh, going Frank's this time. going down the Rhine. Yeah. I'm going down the Rhine. So, yeah. <laughs> um, You're going to go on over and do the Rhine, yeah. Oh, nice. Good for you. Well, I've had. In June? Yeah. I've June. been there before. So. Um, I'm when I was in the Navy, we used to get off the ship up in Bremerhaven and take the train to, to uh, Bremen, to uh, Hanover, to Frankfurt, and uh, uh, the doctor and I, and, and uh, what the result was, we. Uh, Richard McDonald and Mary. Somebody went through Yale medical, the same medical school too. with. I know. It would be funny if they were on the same boat. Uh, so we had a Porsche to too, ride up and go. down the Rhine and I'm visit gonna, all the places, and then we uh, yes. okay, came yeah, back, so we to, got aboard ship, and came back to New York. So we need to talk about <laughs> June. Uh -huh. 
that's that's going to be a great trip. Okay, um, guys, can I kind yeah. of just bring it back here? Yeah. Um, so June first is Thursday. That's the first Thursday of the month. We should um, be I'm, doing a meeting. That I'm good. So, but I won't be. Phil is not available. So then the following is the eighth. I don't think you're home yet. No, we're home the tenth. So. Okay, so you're home the tenth. Okay, so that brings us to the fifteenth of June. Where are you? <laughs> You're on the spot. <laughs> Tell one. And Barbara, I'm here. I'm here. So that's I'm here three, all, and I don't, I don't know about John. So that's a possible, that's a possible option. The fifteenth. The fifteenth is a possible. Um, I think I'm here on the fifteenth. Okay, so I'm gonna put it down June fifteenth as a possibility. But you're yes. here, Bill, on the fifth. You're home by the fifteenth. Okay. I uh, I am I am positive I'm home at that time. Okay, all right. So that's a possible. <coughs> that looks good. I'd like to have a meeting, um, in June if possible. Yes. I mean, let's see if Mr. Kovalchuk comes exactly. in, Mr. um, or whatever. We really should have it. So. That gives us, um, mm -hmm. we'll have a quorum on the 15th. Um, and then and then we lose Bill. You're pulling away, party. <laughs> yeah, we lose um, Bill, but, um, yeah. So we can bring cake and ice cream? <laughs> we can, yeah, right. We can have snacks. No, we don't have. Is it a snack night? Um, well, we'll see what happens. Um, but I'm glad that we can have a meeting in June, because I, I was thinking we might not be able to have one. Nope. July, is anybody away on vacation? July, the first meeting would be the 6th of July. Doesn't, you're out, but you, you and you, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. everybody's around? Okay, so we can have July. Okay, let's go to that and then we can figure out the rest later. Okay, all right, so those are all the issues. You wanna wrap this up? Okay, uh, anything else? I'll take a motion to close the meeting. I'll make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Second it, please. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you all for coming.